Around three quarters of the population of the UK get through life without professional psychological help. We work and play, bring up children, care for the elderly, more or less successfully. This video is about the ordinary wisdom and shared power that makes this possible. I call it the Psy Commons. For me it's presently local and personal. For you it might be very different. The Commons is a newly revived name for the planetary inheritance that belongs to all of us. The atmosphere, the air we breathe, the seas, the land, the rivers. Rivers that belong also to the birds. The Commons Act 2006 registers 4% of England and Wales as in common ownership. Along with Clapham Common and Ealing Common, there are 41 commons in the Greater London area. Remnants of an ancient heritage, one that now has new companions, new kinds of commons. The internet, the radio spectrum, and the genetic commons of bodies and seeds. And also, a commons we live in, and that lives in all of us, the Psi Commons. The Psi Commons is alive in us in three ways. Rapport, the felt connection with others. Chat, how we make sense of what's going on in our lives. Learning from experience, how we grow and change. No matter how intense our family, social media or corporate remix gets, rapport is always there. Rapport is that combination of gaze, body language and physical contact through which we feel connected with each other. The feeling of being heard, of being met, of the mutual recognition of life lived. It comes alive on Saturday mornings at the market and through old friendships. Each time when we meet and greet, we create the Psy Commons afresh. The Psy Commons lives in us in a second way. Chat. The common names, images and ideas we use to make sense of what's going on in our lives. Rapport and chat combine to give the Psy Commons a third human capacity. Learning from experience. How we grow and change.
the Psy Commons takes us on a lifelong dance of learning from experience. Whether it's sorting out whose pushchair this is, or being able to dance with others, or waiting for our time to come. Does the Psy Commons still seem out of reach? Look for it in the quality of attention we give each other. Especially the attention we give and receive from mums and dads and granddads and grandmothers. We can't grasp the psychons. It lives in the holding, in the eye contact, and in the chat, and in the play, and in the fun. The fun, for example, of a surprise 80th birthday party for which 150 friends showed up. Some people like to sign up to their Psy Commons commitment to try out, check out, and figure out how to live with each other. Signed up or not, what keeps us connected is the way that the Psy Commons provides us with ordinary wisdom and shared power. For many people, the Psy Commons rests on local, face-to-face -face contact. Alongside this, our networks of shared power and ordinary wisdom have greatly expanded. The Psy Commons is also becoming global. This little planet that we share is growing a nervous system and eyes and ears to go with it. The reach and variety of our lives often seems to be growing by the minute. And the digital villages in which we hang out in this little planet are brilliant technical innovations that feed our ordinary wisdom and shared power. And yet, as information becomes ever more abundant, face-to-face -face attention seems to be becoming scarce. I guess that, as in this Iranian sculpture from 25 centuries ago, we will continue to turn to each other for help, for the comfort, commiseration, and not least for the love that the Psy Commons embodies. What about the quarter of the population that could benefit from being more Psy savvy? Good question. For many reasons, but especially poverty, our capacity for rapport can be undermined. Our chat may be limited and narrowed by isolation and discrimination. Our learning from experience may be distorted or missing, and as a result of abuse, distressed. What to do? Part two of these videos looks at how the psychological professions keep some of this in place and what they could do to help. Part three collects together some of the ways in which the Psy Commons is becoming more widely valued. Join us there. <laughs>